Dear students and teachers, please like, share and subscribe and also do comment in the comment section about the video. Your opinion is very important to me. Thank you for watching the video. Hi, good morning students. My name is Umesh. I am an English teacher. Today let us learn an English lesson from 10th class second language English. Prose Unit 1 the name of the lesson is Hero, written by R. K. Narayanan. You can see the picture of R. K. Narayan here. Let us know about the author. He is best known for his work set in the fictional South Indian town Malgudi. Here, fictional South Indian town means it's an imaginary town in Malgudi. It doesn't exist physically. His works includes Swami and his friends, Bachelor of Arts, the English teacher and the financial expert. His novel The Guide was adopted for film and it won the Sahitya Academy Award. Between 70s and 80s, the picture guide was produced. A late famous actor, Mr. Devanand, acted in this movie. It was a popular movie. It won Sahitya Academy Award. This guide was written by R.K. Narayanan. He highlights the social content and provides a feel for his characters through everyday life. In his works, he tries to enhance the social content means the relation between friends, the relation between husband and wife, the relation between brothers and sisters, the relation between granddaughters and grandsons and grandpa and grandmas. So in this uh, lesson you can see the Swami and uh, Granny's relation, Swami's and father relation, Swami and his, his mother relation. Like this a social content is highlighted in his works. Summary of the lesson Hero He is Swami. Swami is an young child living in Malgudi with his parents and grandmother. Swami portrays a growing up emotional boy who hates school as he makes excuses roams around Malgudi with his friends. Generally, most of the kids will do this. Sometimes, if they don't like to go to school, they'll do some excuses like headache, stomach pain or something. Swami's father works in government office and his mother is a housewife. At home, Swami shares his adventures with his aged granny who lovingly addresses him as Chami. Swami also has two close friends, Mani and Rajam. Generally, kids, what they will do? Whatever they do, they will go and tell their grandparents or parents, isn't it? The same way here, Swami, whatever he does from morning to evening in the school or outside in Malgudi, he used to share everything with his granny. And the granny used to call him lovingly Chami. Chami is a nickname. I think your parents, your grandparents or your friends might have kept a nickname to you know. Like that, Chami is a nickname here. And he had two friends also, Mani and Rajam. Once while reading the newspaper, his father reads an article about the bravery shown by an eight-year-old boy and feels that Swami should do something similar. One day his father was reading a newspaper. In that newspaper an article appears. That article says that an eight-year-old boy faces the tiger on the way home and he bravely stayed on the top of the tree unless until somebody comes on that way and kill the tiger. And Swami's father want a similar thing that Swami should do. Means Swami should become a courageous boy. 
Swami has the habit of sleeping with his grandmother after listening to a story told by her. This irritates Swami's father. Swami's father then challenges or rather forces him to sleep in his office. Generally, kids would like to sleep beside his grandmother or grandfather because grandmother or grandfather used to tell them stories and they show more love. That's why the kids love to sleep beside their grandmother or grandfather. Same way, Swami also had a habit of sleeping with his grandmother. But his father did like this. He wanted that Swami should sleep in his office alone. Swami asks his friends for advice on how to escape from his father's challenge. They tell him to go to bed before his father comes home from the work. Then when father challenges him to sleep in his office, Swami went and asked his friends how to escape from this challenge. They gave an advice. His friends gave an advice that you go to bed before the arrival of your father. However, his father did, does not let him sleep at home, wakes him and takes him there. He forced him and take him to the office. Swami tries to negotiate with his father to let him sleep in the house in a separate room, but his father refuses. However, he lets Swami sleep with doors and windows open. When Swami sleeps in the father's office, he has nightmares about the ghosts and wake ups with a start. Whenever small kids, if they sleep alone, definitely they are afraid of ghosts or something like that. Even Swami felt afraid. That nightmare means bad dreams. Dreamt bad dreams and he wakes up. Time Swami spots an intruder breaking into the office. When he wakes up after seeing a nightmare, a bad dream, he saw somebody is breaking into the office room. Mistaking him for the ghost, Swami grabs the intruder's leg and yells for help. He thought that the intruder is a ghost and he holds the leg and started shouting for the help. The family members catch the thief and handed him over to the police. The police appreciate him and want him to join the police force but Swami want to work as an engine driver or a bus conductor. Music